Hello, everybody, and welcome once again inside the Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun here in Uncasville, Connecticut, a familiar venue for the greatest names in billiards, the pressure-packed final of the International Challenge of Champions for the 21st time. And as we get ready for what we know will be an exciting matchup, we will show you our two terrific players first. Our finalist in 2009 here one more time to try to take home the prize, Darren Appleton, a look at his diamond tables. Player profile, the hottest player in the world right now by virtue of his second consecutive U.S. Open nine ball championship just recently won in Chesapeake, Virginia, 35 years old from Yorkshire in England. He will be facing someone new to the challenge of champions, Huji C. 30 years old from Rotterdam in the Netherlands, the WPA World 10 ball champion who had a monster victory over the two time and defending champion, Mika Imminen. Obviously, Huji C deserves to be here as well. Darren Appleton will have the break. He won the lag. This format, one that produces nothing but pressure, and now $25,000 on the line. Mitch Lawrence, a 1993 champion of champions, Alan Hopkins. Here, as always, to bring you the action. Here's our opening break in the first set, Alan. Same type of break. Cross corner, the one ball goes. He's excellent at that shot. Ball's open nicely, but he has no open shot. Here's the 2-9. Here's the cue ball. May play a, a cross side bank, playing the two ball here and trying to make it cross side. Darren wants this title badly, and now that Mika Eminen is out, I think he would have to be considered the favorite in this match, Alan, although Huchi C took out Mika, so <laughs> both these players really doing some great work. Let's see what Darren can do here. Decide to play a safety. Notice where the cue ball is going, in between the eight and three. And that was excellent. We play foul on all balls, so if he touches the eight ball here, trying to shoot the two ball, it will be a foul. This is not an easy shot. He may call the nine ball here. No, playing the two ball. Made it. Wow. All right. <laughs> he almost miscued. He kind of like miscued on it. Yeah. Well, he doesn't really have a shot on the three ball. Probably going to see a safe here. He's going to hit the three ball into the eight and bring the cue ball, bring the cue ball one, two rails back down table into here, leaving the three ball down table by the eight or there it is. It's a little hard. Does he get down behind the six? No. Good try. As Darren comes to the table, we'll quickly give you the rules of nine ball. The cue ball and object balls numbered one through nine on the table. The player must hit the lowest numbered ball on the table first, and the game will be over when the nine ball is pocketed. Darren is interested in the four and six right here. The four and six are tough to get position on for the combination. So if he plays the three, have to play a safety next. He's going to play a safety most likely, and that's exactly what he does. But we're not going to see a safe this time. I believe he's going to become all offensive here and bank the three ball, cross side, and come down and break open the four six or play for the combination. Or he could play the three right inside off the five ball. Couple different options here. And extension. extension. Takes that He's time going out. to bank the three ball cross side, bring the cue ball down and try to break open the four and six. Looks like a little nerve wracking challenge yeah. of champions rack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting pressure. way to start off for both players, Alan. Pressure setting in. I wonder, I wonder if he'll call the nine here, Mitch. Nope, not going to call the nine. Just going to try to cut the three ball in and play position for the four six kiss shot.
perfect. They'll play the six. Well done. Ball. The beginning of his semifinal match, Darren had a little bit of a shaky start as well, and then seemed to get into a groove and really showed us some fantastic shot making and defense too. But this fellow, this fellow here, Mitch, can make anything. He's he's a great ball pocketer. Not to mention kiss shots and stuff. He's going to play a kiss shot here and try to bring the four up and down the table. There it is. Goes to the back rail and come off for an easy shot in the corner. Not an easy shot, but it's it's a nine foot shot. As you can see, here's the four ball. And here's the five right by the side pocket. So we can make the four and come back down the table. I'll have an easy shot on the five. Fine. Nice. Fine. Excellent. Well done. And Mitch, this, he's made the tough shot of the rack. Now the rest is position play. Getting the right angles on the ball. Notice how he left himself an angle on the seven. He wants to bring the cue ball to the middle of the table for the eight. So for Darren Appleton, he is doing what he needs to do put himself in a position to take an early lead. Remember, these short race sets produce some of the most unexpected results that you'll see in championship nine ball. Got to keep your eyes open. But Darren Appleton, dynamite they call him, jumps off. He's got a one rack lead, one nothing, race to five, first set here in Uncas. We are preparing now for rack number six of the first set of the finals of the 21st Annual International Challenge of Champions in Uncasville, Connecticut. Mohegan Sun and the Wolf Den, the site of this great event. And a player unfamiliar to most of you, who GC, but he is certainly making fans quickly here in Uncasville. Up 4-1, a chance to take this first set with Rack 6 in his control. However, Darren Appleton up quickly, Alan. Nothing on the break for Huji. Yeah, unfortunately, he did not make a ball on the break, but he did control the cue ball and the one ball together. And here they are in the bottom rail. As you can see right here, here's the one ball, and here's the cue ball. Position is probably going to be the center of the table so he can get on the two. Decide to come down farther for the two ball. It must go past the eight ball, or he can play a combination on the eight. Came down a little too far. Probably goes in the corner past the, as you can see right here, the eight ball is like blocking half the pocket. So he has a tough shot on the two ball. If it hits the eight first, it probably won't go in. But if it catches the rail or just catches the eight really thin, it might make it. But I think he's going to play an overcut and go to below the eight. And if he catches the eight, it'll go in. There it goes. Nicely shot. Done. He, uh, he, he knows the shots. <laughs> a little bit different looking, Darren Appleton, though, in this final compared to the semifinal. Not quite as confident right now, Alan. Doesn't mean it won't change. Well, that's his behind look. You know. We all have a behind look and a head look. <laughs> this is behind by three game look. <laughs> uh, but I wouldn't put too much emphasis on that because I got a feeling that it really doesn't matter with these players. They're both great champions, and the score is really not going to affect the way they're going to attack the rack. He just has a tough layout here. The six ball is against the rail, and the eight ball is off the rail a couple inches, but makes it a tougher combination if he wants to play the combination next. He'll want to bring the cue ball over to the other rail, almost frozen to the other rail. He'll probably come left-hand spin and bring it over there. And he came a little bit farther than I think he wanted to. Gonna have to use a bridge. Looks like he's going to play a kiss shot with the cue ball off the six into the eight. Punch out for the double kiss. Very good. Nicely done there. Notice Boy, the six ball. Yep. Notice the six ball coming over position, leaves it right by the pocket. has to worry about the cue ball here because the cue ball could go into the nine ball. It could get a little funny on the seven ball. So position is kind of important on this shot. Just 
decide to bank it. Wow, how do you like that? He banked the ball. He could have cut it right in. And you know what? Very. That was when I. he's getting back to the look he had before. <laughs> it's interesting. I'll tell you what. He banked that ball when he could have cut it right in, but I guess because of the position, he didn't want to take a chance. And he knew it as soon as he looked at it. There was no hesitation, and that's what I mean. And a little bit different Darren Appleton right now as he picks up rack number six, climbs to within two of Fuji C. Darren Appleton, Darren Appleton still very much alive in this first set in Uncasville. Inside the Wolf Den at Mohegan Sun, we are watching two champions go after the title of Champion of Champions here at the 21st Annual International Challenge of Champions. Mitch Lawrence and Hall of Famer Alan Hopkins calling the action for you. Darren Appleton of England, two-time U.S. Open nine ball champion. And to get a title he covets very, very much. Watch out for the cue ball. Uh, straight into the corner pocket. That was crazy a tough game. break. Crazy game. <laughs> yeah, crazy game. Look at the right. cue ball comes to the rail. Here comes the ball kissing it in the corner. <laughs> it looks like it's destiny. The cue ball goes right into the corner. He actually made two balls on the break. He gets scratched. Four and the five went in, and you see him shaking his head, and you heard his commentary. Crazy tough. game. And he's right. Tough break for Darren, I'll tell you. But instead, ball in hand for Huji C, who's on the hill, one rack away from winning this first set. Whoa, and you heard him. Oh, that's surprising. He had ball in hand. He got two balls with the one, two, three there. Well, that's a big break for Darren. Now we'll see the cue ball travel a little bit here. Cue ball's gonna travel two rails, gonna pocket the two ball in the corner, bring the cue ball one, two, down in this area for the three ball. Almost right back where he's at now. Totally unexpected turn of events, that miss. Hit it hard enough. And did not get it hard enough. That was not an easy shot. You saw Darren do an interesting thing though. He kind of after he hit that shot, kind of jerked his shooting arm, like, let it go, down, let it go. But again, don't want to talk about it too much, but the pressure that makes you tighten up. The winner-take-all pressure of the challenge of champions. There's none like it. I remember we talked in the semifinal match that Darren had about a key that he thought to his good play lately was loosening his grip and the fact that when under pressure, he used to hold it too tightly. And that's the kind of shot you hit when you go back to that old way of doing it. We'll see if he picks it up and kind of lets it go a little bit here. Well, he's going to have to play a safety here. I don't. I can't see him making the ball anywhere. Probably bringing the three ball down by the seven or bringing the cue ball. Wherever he puts it, the six is in the middle of the table, so he's going to have a tough safety here. He's trying to bank it. Okay, he had a pocket for banking it, but he did he, he did he did get away with it. Looks like it's behind the nine ball pretty much, or no? I guess it's not. Well, he's shaking his head, no. So back and forth we go here in the seventh rack of the first set. And we'll see who's gonna take control. Remember who GC is one rack away from taking this first set. A lot of right hand spin on the cue ball. Excellent shot. And you can hear him saying, oh. <laughs> well, you got the wrong angle here, Mitch. Yep. Got the wrong angle on the six ball. He's not done yet because he's straight in. It's going to be hard to get down on the seven ball unless he banks it cross side. He's going to have to put a low right hand spin on this. Oh, what a great shot. Great shot. <laughs> the reason you heard Alan say he got the wrong side of it, he had to go away from the shot that he wants to hit now on the seven. And he had to make something happen, which he did. That was a terrific shot. That's a shot that's probably going to win him the first set, Mitch. That was a fabulous shot right there. And one thing that I like about Huji C is he had a miss in the prior rack. Kind of took him by surprise, missing this rack. But he seems to be able to bounce back from the Simonis pocket cam, the most important nine ball for who you see of this first set, the one that gives him the first set victory, five to two here in Uncasville, the final of the International Challenge of Champions.
A little bit of a perplexed look on the face of Darren Appleton on the left. UGC on the right. Has to be feeling pretty good right now. He won the first set 5-2. And in the first rack of the second set, he's jumped out to a one-rack lead. We'll show you how. He come offensive here, trying to make a three ball, banking it. But notice the cue ball comes down for position on the four, but lays right on top of the six, and the three stops right behind the nine, making it very difficult for Darren to hit it. He tries to hit it, just misses it. And that'll give ball in hand and set it up for UGC to run out. He comes to the table, makes a seven. Notice the spin on the cue ball. Perfect position on the eight. That sets up the nine ball. And with each succeeding rack, you see UGC kind of let out a little exhalation. I think as things build to a climax here, whether it's this rack or a sudden death rack for the money and the title, this is definitely building to an exciting finish. Now second rack and with the break is who GC. Boy, can he really do some damage should he get this rack, Allen? Watch out for the cue ball. There goes the cue ball. Got kicked in the corner. And he pointed right at it, knew what was going to happen. And I'll tell you, you know something, Mitch? It goes, it goes in that, it goes in that corner. Out here goes a six ball, goes in the corner. The cue ball gets a nice kick by the two ball. <laughs> And it just seems like it's destiny. The cue ball goes right toward the corner and scratches. Which, of course, means ball in hand for Darren Appleton. Not such an easy layout, though, because the two ball is close to the seven ball right here. Okay, so he's going to be forced to play a combination, his next shot, on the three, on the two, three. And that's what he's looking at right now. Time out. And he's got to be thinking about the pressure, Mitch. Winner take all. If I lose this match, I'm out. In perfect position. He'll roll the cue ball down with the two ball, just in case, with the three, just in case he makes them both. We have a shot on the four. Okay. Notice where the cue ball is. <laughs> that was a little scary. That was a little more than he wanted, I think. Yeah. I took a breath. I don't know what he did. Yeah, he almost missed the three. Simona's pocket cam, a good look at the two going and the cue ball moving away. Yeah, he'll bring the cue ball up table for the five. Wants an angle on the five if he can get it. Probably coming two rails here toward the center of the table. Nicely done. Slow down a little bit. Don't come too far. You know, you know what it is, Mitch? Every time when it matches are getting close, or if you're having a problem, you're always either too hard or too easy. You're never, like, perfect. You know, it's a struggle. <laughs> and the pressure gets to you, too. We have seen. Well, this was hit well. This it happened so much. This was a great out by Darren right here. Absolutely necessary to get this rack. This is why this is called the challenge of champions, because they're all champions out there. And it is a challenge. And they rise for the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a really big event for Darren. I mean, he lost in sudden death to Mika Imanen in 2009. And he said it made him sick. He left here really feeling badly about it. Does not want that to happen again, but he'll need to win the second set to stay alive for a sudden death rack. Darren Appleton ties up the second set here at Mohegan Sun.